Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Bullish or Bearish. My name is Tony Chu from Success Options Group. I'm here with my sister, Anda, who you'll see in a couple seconds. And we're here bringing you another one of our favorite topics in this episode, right? And, you know, we're, what we're doing again here is just to try to simplify and make these difficult financial topics something you can understand in bite-sized chunks, right? So without further ado, Angela. So like Tony said, what we're really trying to do is give you like both sides of the story, you know, you know, pros, cons, and letting you really like learn about all the things that are out there so that you can make a great decision. Now, what's our topic for today? Our topic is options. Why options trading? Like, why is it the best thing that you should be doing right now? And really what it boils down to is, is that options trading has a higher return on investment and it lets you do more with your money. Because, you know, we all talk about how there's the stock market and how you can trade stocks. But what options does is it gives you leverage. It lets you leverage your money so that your money is making money instead of just sitting there and waiting for you to waiting for it to grow. Like you're actually doing something active with it that actually makes it so that you're working towards a future that is more free, that you can do more things that you want to do instead of just sitting around and hoping. I mean, I, I hear you and all, but I everything I've heard is options are dangerous, right? You can the risk of infinite loss is what I've heard, right? And you can just, you can keep going and lose all your money. Well, it just seems simpler just to buy a stock. So, but, okay, so you're saying that it's dangerous. You know what? Everything in life is dangerous. Like if you tried to drive a car without learning how to drive it, you would like, that's dangerous too. I mean, so everything in life is dangerous. It's not, what it boils down to is it's not about whether or not it's dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. It's about knowing what you're doing. Like you have to like learn about it. You have to get educated. It's kind of like how we do things in our workshops is that we actually give you the actual foundations and the basics so that you are actually learning how to do things right. Because, you know, there is a right way to do it. And the right way to do it is always, you know, actually knowing what you're doing. Because no I mean, matter what you do, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, it's dangerous. Without any education, though, I mean, I can just watch some YouTube videos, right? I've seen these guys and they're talking about, they know what they're doing. You know, talk about the the, the meme stocks or the, the hyped up stocks, right? Okay, okay. So <laughs> this is one of the things that pisses me off the most is that people say, oh, I can watch YouTube videos. Oh, and you know, I can just follow somebody. The problem is, is that when you are just following somebody or just watching these videos, they might show you, okay, this is how you do things, but they're not telling you why are you doing it? When is it the best time for you to be doing and how you should be doing it so that it fits your personality and what you actually want to achieve for the future. You know, it's not just a one, one way fits everybody. There's actually like a right way for each person based on who they are and what they actually want to achieve, like what they want to do with their life. Okay, so I mean, I have watched some videos, right? So I know a little bit about options, but I, you know, I keep coming back to the fact that like, you could just buy stock and hold it, right? And from what I understand, like, like 80, 90% of options just expire worthless. It's like insurance. Okay, so that's a really interesting thing you say because you talk about how you can just buy and hold it. Well, that's similar to like buying and holding a house, right? But the thing is, is, Think about it, with a house, you could rent it out and make some extra money coming in every month. And that's exactly what they're talking about. Whenever you say, oh, they just expire worthless. If you're doing it right, you can make rent on the stocks that you own and you want them to expire worthless because when they expire worthless, you're the one who's making the money. It's like renting your house. You're renting your stocks. And I mean, there are so many ways to do that in options where you can actually reduce your actual risk so that you're not risking very much at all, but you're still making at least some money every single month. So, I mean, okay, that, that just sounds really good. <laughs> I, it sounds like difficult to understand, right? Cause like, well, I, you know, my account's just a stock account, right? Like it doesn't, it, it takes more knowledge to understand how this works, right? So, I will admit, yes, you do need to have knowledge about it, but it doesn't have to be that hard. 
it doesn't have to be hard at all because I mean, can you cook? Can you follow a recipe? If you can follow a recipe or follow an instruction guide, you can do, you can trade options because it's always about knowing what you're doing, having a plan and being able to follow that plan repeatedly. You know, it's not like you don't have to know everything in the world. You just have to know the, the few things that work for you and be able to do it over and over again. But like, it sounds like something that like, if it's school education, it's gonna take years to learn, right? I mean, I, like, I, there's, I don't have that much time. I, I got a job, I got other things to do. You know what? If you just wanna learn basics, like just, a, just like two or three things that you can do every, like for yourself every month, probably take you three months. I could teach it to you in three months. I mean, that's one of the things that we offer at our company is like, you can learn how to make up a plan for you to implement within three months, you know, like that. So I, I guess, you know, I, you're, you're working towards convincing me, but I would still say like, it seems safer just to buy a stock, right? I like, I like this company. I like Apple or whatever. And I'm just going to buy it. Right. And I don't have to worry about trying to find a renter or what you were kind of describing, right? Yes. So the thing is, is that I use that as an example, but actually options is easier than that because you don't actually, if you pick the right stocks and you know what you're doing, you don't need to find a renter and spend time finding a renter. Your renter is already there waiting for you to try to rent out your stocks. So it's like a five minute thing or a three minute thing. If you're lucky, a 30 second thing. I mean, seriously, it's not like you're gonna have to be searching because there are just so many people who are trading back and forth. So it's such a liquid and easy to get into and easy to get out of thing that you don't have to worry about, okay, I have to wait around for anything. Okay, well, thank you everybody for attending another episode. Um, make sure to put in your comments whether you're bullish or bearish on this concept. Um, admittedly, it's a very difficult topic because it's it's one of our favorite things to talk about. Angela, it's like, and I, you know, that we're very bear, bullish on options, right? Um, so this was difficult for me to try to discuss the bearish side of things. Um, yeah, no, I really get it because I got lucky, so I got to do the bullish side of it. But really, I understand where all the fear comes from. Like people are worried, people are scared. They're like, oh, but I don't know what I'm doing but they don't realize that everybody starts off that way. You know, it's not just you. It's not, I mean, even I started out when I started out at the beginning, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, but it's called, you need to find somebody who can actually hold your hand, walk you through it so that you know what you're doing. You feel confident and then, hey, you can do it. Anybody can. Yeah, it's, it's something we tell, like this is what we talk about in the workshops and the private sessions. I mean, everything in life worth doing has an element of risk. Right? So anything, everything important has that risk. And no matter what you might hear, this is something, your, your financial freedom, your financial independence is vital to your future success and your, your ability to do whatever it is you want to do in your life. So really hit the like, hit the subscribe and look at our links and see if there's a workshop that's right for you.